smart to Jenya. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends We've got a special video for you guys today Nice Ali Dawa The adulterer of Majid Nawaz That's smile to Jannah What's he done now bro? The question is what hasn't he done? So last Sunday I'm driving Listening to LBC Yeah And uh, this adulterer As known as Majid Nawaz Was on there So basically he was talking about You know that in universities Why is it that they have these extremists on board mm. um, And they let them speak But when it comes to a Israeli official Yeah Soas made this whole campaign to stop him from speaking And I thought mm, Fair point uh, And then he started getting into this whole stoning thing You know These speakers they talk about stoning, stoning, stoning And I was thinking why is he so obsessed with the stoning thing But then I remembered to myself there's a link that It might be something personal with him Because uh, he was caught cheating on his wife in a strip club So I thought let me call him Let me call him Surely if he's against people being hurt yeah. Yes And seeing them you know killed and all this kind of stuff yeah. I thought let me ask, them about, ask him about Israel mm. And what they're doing yeah, someone that's championing human rights. Mm. Why on earth would they be bigging up Israel? Exactly. And I thought to myself, you know what, this is like, we're, we're going to come to an agreement that, you know, what Israel is doing is wrong. And they are, yeah, and, it, and most, if he, if he, even if he doesn't say it's a terrorist state, he might just say, you know what, outright it's wrong. Nothing. Like the guy was literally emotionless. Israeli soldiers shoot innocent little kids in the head. Mm. For throwing stones So mm. I just wanted to ask you mm. Because the way you defend Israel To me it seems like You get paid mm. really well by it A decade ago Where he's staunchly against He was actually Exactly saying what I was saying Why should we accept A racist Occupying apartheid state Called Israel what, what was it That made this U-turn with him Well bro If you want to know Why anybody does anything Yeah You gotta follow the money bro Well Maybe I might be right or wrong but that's why I assumed as well, you know, I thought, you know, he must be getting paid really well for him to be defending Israel and not even uttering anything to do with terrorism to that level. Mm. Because the way you defend Israel, to me, it seems like you get paid really well by it. So can you tell oh, me, is it, is it, is it, as a terrorist is it Ali, is it that Jews are paying me? Is that what you're saying? Oh, oh by the way you're defending them, I yeah. would not be surprised if you're getting good amounts. Yeah. I, I, yeah, good I, amounts I from Jews, that. yeah, Ali? You, yeah. Uh, no, Israel, I didn't say Israel. Jews, I thought Jews. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. First of all, bro, mm. he tried to force anti-Semitism upon you. Yeah, Good amounts from Jews, yeah. Ali? And it backfired, yes. Yeah, so yeah. he actually comes across a bit anti-Semitic. Uh, yes. I think he uh, mm. owes them an apology. Mm. Very. Bro, what's mad is mm. when I was digging through... The first four years, we know he was funded yeah. by the British government. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he was offering a great service. To the, come on, you can't deny mm. that. He may have started with a noble cause. A uh, noble cause. Iranda Foundation is something that's been founded by one of the Rothschilds. Oh. And those people that are familiar with the Balfour Declaration, mm -hmm. which is literally the defining document yep. that Handed over. began the state of Israel as we know it today. Yes. Okay. Where the British Prime Minister is actually addressing Lord Rothschild. Okay, what's this got to do with our adulterer? The, the fact of the matter is, bro, he's yeah. talking about being funded by Jews. It doesn't get more Jewish than the person who's helped facilitate the state of Israel, bro. Look, Ma Majid won't do that. Well, as I'm saying it, bro, on the screen you can see the evidence from their website. The yeah, undercover. since the government stopped funding him, he had to turn somewhere. Yeah, but you shouldn't really be turning towards mm. people that are guilty of mm. war crimes. Let's ask uh, Kate Gilmore, the UN Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights here. Mm. Yeah? Mm. She goes, the past year saw hundreds of Palestinian children detained. Children. Children. Detained by Israel. Look, forget us. Let's ask Majid what he thinks. Yeah. Majid, is Israel a terrorist state? No. No. Israel is not a terrorist state. Is that an answer? Okay. You heard that for yourself. Yeah, he still does. Okay, no, no, no. Let, let me give him some facts. Okay, go on. According to Al Jazeera, in November 2017, mm. they reported 313 minors being imprisoned, with 729 children detained in East Jerusalem alone mm. in one year. Just one year. Just one year. Majid, what do you have to say about this? No, Israel is not a terrorist state. Okay, so he's still not convinced. He's not. So in, in 2003, yep. an American a woman by the name of Rachel Corey, yes. she was an activist. Mm. Uh, she went demonstrating against Israel. Uh, she got run over by an Israeli bulldozer. Wow. 
Majid, back to you. No, Israel is not a terrorist state. Okay, um, he's, he's still... still maybe, may, maybe because mm. she was American. I've, I've got a British one, yeah? Tom Handel. In oh. the same year. Close at home. Close yeah, at home. Yeah. Same year, mm. 2003. Yeah. He's a British photographer. Yes. And an activist. What happened to him? He got shot in the head by an Israeli sniper. Majid, back to you. No, Israel is not a terrorist state. The UN General Assembly, Resolution 3379, because yes. people are going to be accusing us of being anti-Semitic. Yes, yeah? yes. Let's see what the UN has said about the term Zionist. Okay. okay. So they go, Zionism is a form of racism and racial discrimination. All right. Mm. Now everybody knows when it comes to apartheid. Yeah. Yeah. Nelson Mandela's done a lot of great work. Like the Gaza Strip, the Golan Heights, and uh, the West Bank, we don't agree with that. Those territories should be returned to the Arab people. His granddaughter goes. Mm. My grandfather Nelson Mandela fought apartheid. Mm. I see parallels with Israel. David Cameron, yeah. Mm. David Cameron says. Gaza cannot and must not be allowed to remain a prison camp. So Brian Bard, the former US congressman, mm. he goes, Israel has created the largest open air prison in Gaza. Let me tell you a bit about Gaza, yeah? yeah. Now normally when you don't like it in a place, bro, yeah. you move. Yes. You go somewhere else. People mm. in Gaza, bro, are literally locked in. Two million people locked in. They can't move. Katie, the UN human rights woman. Mm. She says there are electricity cuts lasting up to 18 to 20 hours a day. 97% of the water is contaminated. Mm. Human Rights Watch says on their website, repression, institutionalized discrimination and systematic abuses. Amnesty International on their website says torture, forcible eviction, uh, ev evicting of residents. Detention without charge or trial. Mm. Democracy. Where's democracy gone, bro? Baruch Kimmerling, the sociologist from Hebrew University, the late sociologist, he said, Gaza is the biggest concentration camp ever to exist. Let's see what happens. No, N-O, Israel is not a terrorist state. Is that an answer for you? No, he said no. He said no, no, no. Ali, what are you talking? What about stoning? But Israel killing innocent people. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Ali. Do you not, do you not yeah. condemn people being stoned to death? Oh my God! Oh, nice twist. Bro, it's selective outrage. Of course, it's selective outrage. You're outraged at the only things hmm. that suit you yes. and your cause. Exactly. Bro, he received a donation from Sam Harris as well. And this, this is why I'm doing a book with Majid Nawaz. And this well, is Sam, why I'm giving money on, to his organization. On... You are not a Muslim. Yeah, that's that's very clear. He that was worried about answering your question. Yes. Ali, I've answered your yes. question. Yes. I've <laughs> answered your question, Ali. Shame on you. Ali, I can't believe you. Hang on, you can you react to my answer, but first agree I've answered your question. Have I answered your question? Yeah. You got this professor, his name is Professor Norman Finkelstein, yeah? Yes. And he talks about two cases in particular that he's researched. Yeah. One was Operation Cast Lead. Yeah. yeah. This happened in December 2008. Yeah. So Palestinians that the adults that died, 1,300, mm. children, a 300. Yes. What the media says is there's been deaths on both sides. Yeah? Yes, how many deaths? How many Israelis died? 10. Mm. This lasted for 22 days and no press was allowed in there for several weeks. Serious? And what's, what's even interesting in this case in particular was that there was a Jewish, a Zionist judge. Mm. Yeah? by the name of Goldstone. Yeah. He came up with a report and his conclusion was, and I quote, <clears throat> the operation was to punish, humiliate and terrorize the civilian population. So what's interesting is Goldstone, the one who made this report, mm. after a short while he had to retract what he said because of the immense pressure that was put on him mm. and the fact that there's a lot of evidence pointing mm. to the fact that he was blackmailed. Professor Norman Finkelstein actually mentions this in his book, yeah. Gaza and Inquest into its Martyrdom. It's a very good book. Mm. But then later what happened was there was something called Operation Protective Edge. Now, yeah. when this happened, a lot of people were scared after what happened to Goldstone. This lasted 51 days. Mm. There was no human rights organizations that were allowed in. Mm. And this was in July 2014. 2,000 adults died. 500, 500 kids and let's see how many Israeli civilians died. Oh, it was six. Six. How many children died? One. Mm. 
Mm. How many homes destroyed? One. Mm. How many? I mean, you can see the houses of worship too. But look at Gaza: one thousand six hundred civilians, five hundred and fifty children, homes eighteen thousand, houses of worship damaged two hundred three. Look at the ratio. Yeah. The strongest lobbying group mm. in the U.S. Yeah, is APAC. Yes. APAC is obviously Zionist, yeah? yeah. Bill Clinton fan. APAC is as stunningly effective, better than anyone else at lobbying in this town. Al Jazeera did a little research. 95% of Congress support Israel. Yeah. Now, even in the UK, they have a very strong lobby. In fact, mm -hmm. there's a four part documentary series by Al Jazeera where they're looking into the lobbying of Israel yeah. and look at the impact of anti-Semitism they're having against Jeremy Corbyn.